How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm excited to talk about object destructing in JavaScript. So it's a way you can basically just extract values from a object and put them inside individual variables. For example, if you define a object called person with a few properties such as, oh, let's just do name and age. Just like that. So now with this object, what if we want to um, extract the properties from this object and set them to individual variables. We can do this using this syntax right here. We can say let name age equals person. It looks a bit funny, but basically we're just defining two new variables, name and age, and setting them to the values of their corresponding property names in this object. So we should see now, if we log out name, and log out age, we should see Dominic and 21. Let's refresh and we see that right there. So we're extracting the values of these two properties and putting them inside two new variables called name and age. Now what if you want to get the gender of a person as well? We can set default values for these variables like this. So we can say gender equals unknown. So now, the person object right up here doesn't contain the gender property, but we can still set a gender um, variable and set it to a default value of unknown. We can now log out un. Um, we can now log out gender, and we should see unknown, and we do. But if we define a property called gender up here and say male, we should see that. We get male because the default value was overridden by the actual gender property. And we can do a similar sort of concept in functions. For example, we can define a new function called print details, which will just log the details of a person. And what we you know would normally do is actually uh, accept a person object as a parameter and then just say person.name and then person.age stuff like that but instead we can actually do this in here we can simply put name and age and then we can do a simple log we will just say the name is and then put that right there and they are age and we can use this by doing this we can say print details and pass in the person object defined up here. So we're passing in an object and we have a funny looking sort of parameter but it's actually doing the same thing. So we're extracting the name and age property of this object and setting them to variables inside this function. So now we should see the name is... Oh, hold on, what's going on here? I've got to use these guys. Alright, let's give it another try get the name is Dominic and they are 21 and that is how you can use the concept of object destructing in JavaScript thank you for watching see you later